Hey guys, Monk52 here of course, and today we're going to showcase positioning. And the, probably the best boat to showcase positioning is the Atlanta. It's a premium uh, light cruiser for the Americans. It boasts 8 guns, as I believe. Or is it 8 guns? Yeah, 8 guns. That have uh, 127s. There are American destroyer guns, so don't expect much in terms of penetration or uh, like damage in terms of that. But they have a massively short reload, I think it's like 5 seconds or less, and you have a lot of guns, you have 8 guns. I mean, effectively you've got 7 on each side, but you've got a lot of guns. And a good thing about this boat is because they're destroyer guns, to get the range of a normal ship, they have a ridiculously high shell arc, so you can shoot over islands. I've covered this more in my Atlanta guide, and if you want to look into the actual ship in itself, that's great, you can look into that video. But for now, this is covering over positioning. Now, for those that don't know, uh, how you are detected is by line of sight. If they have a, if you can draw a line to where your ship is and where the enemy ship is, and you're within their detection zone, at the detection appear or where you fire like this, you will get spotted. But if there is an obstruction, in this case an island, this Lenin is sailing into my shells. You now get spotted, and that's because we have line of sight issues right here. This enemy ship can spot me via line of sight, the enemy Lenin cannot. So it's the Nelson over here that is actually doing the spotting of me, not the Lenin, because he does not have any uh, obstructions uh, uh, while spotting me. While you fire, of course, your detection is your max gun range, so that is certain to know. So what we are spotted, we're in a dangerous position here, so what we're going to do, we're taking some cover behind this island. So perfectly okay to be here, this was a more intentional. Now, we're going to reverse to get ourselves in a better position so we can better utilize the shape of the ship and get closer and more snug to the island. This is more a feature for the Atlanta, but it still applies to other ships. Now, you notice we've got a quick look at the minimap ever so often. You can take a look as well. We've got enemy Okachov on the other side, so we can't just go around the other side and try and harass them. At the minute, we're not spotted because there's no ships within our line of sight and our detection radius, which is the blue circle, which now changes to match your max gun range as soon as you fire, making myself spotted from the ships down to south over on A. So it's the same, but you could be spotting me again. So we're going to back up here and we are going to take some cover again behind this island. We're not going to shoot just yet and we're going to see what the land is up to. We're not going to torpedo the land just yet. Uh, he is well out of range of our torps, they only four and a half kilometers, but we can shoot here again because we have an obstruction blocking our pathway. This position here is great because if he pushes us, then we have torpedoes on him and we are also preventing enemy destroyers from attacking the B cap or taking the B cap. Meanwhile, we can harass whoever we want to harass because we just simply don't have enough range to be spotted by the guys on the A cap. So we're going to hold off and see what our torpedoes do. We don't have to get too aggressive in shooting our guns too much because we don't want him to know we're here. Or if he does, we want him to forget about us. Stuff like that. So we're going to be very cautious. We're going to be right forward. We don't want to get spotted by the Lenin and uh, announce the situation that our torpedoes are there. Meanwhile, just in case those torpedoes are not successful, we're going to do a big turn around to make sure that if those torpedoes don't kill him, the second set will because he's very close and he's getting within guaranteed detection range and that is a definitely concern for us so we'd be very cautious. Staying here though is great. If the Lenin wasn't killed we could have killed him and uh, yeah that would have been good. So as a result of us staying here not only have we protected C cap from being attacked, uh, well we defended the C cap, we've also protected B from being attacked by any destroyer because if the destroyer popped in we had the radar, we have the drop on the guy and it's very difficult for enemy unit ships to actually target and kill us because of our positioning. This is what I mean. Also, <clears throat> I have built this Atlanta for stealth, I believe. So you can take a look at our detection. Perfectly fine to shoot right now. Line of sight dictates, oh, you cannot get spotted that way because what we're shooting at is behind an island. Uh, only does it work, uh, island cover doesn't work when you are in guaranteed detection range or you have a radar or a sonar situation. Now, he is spotted through the smoke here. This tells us one of two things, either the Fiji is the one spotting us or there's a destroyer and he's in the sight of the smoke. So it's very hard to tell 
think he's probably at the smoke screen. There's only one way to find out. As soon as Avigi goes down, we go dark so we know there's no destroyer that was spotting us. So it's Avigi after all. Meanwhile, there's no reason to shoot. There's no reason to highlight ourselves. There we go. If the Fiji was focusing us or targeting us, we would find out because of our commander skills here. And there's no reason to shoot right now. Nelson is poking behind an island. Again, island obstruction. No way he can spot us. And uh, we are happily, comfortably capping this objective without any resistance at all, really. <clears throat> Bear in note, there is still a lot of enemy ships left. This is all about thinking where your enemy is and trying your best to mitigate where you get spotted from. A really essential skill for a cruiser because you do not want to get shot at at all. Mast is over here. Uh, American shells give a lot of lead. Again, even if we're shooting this mast, because of line of sight, we cannot actually get spotted by the DD. We're actually shooting the DD completely undetected. Same thing with the Leon, and because we've mentioned before, the Atlanta has very good shell arcs, so we can absolutely shoot over this island like it was nothing, as you can see. And we are completely unspottable. And we are, there's no way anything can spot us. Maybe the mass, so that's why we're moving forward a little bit, because the mass is over there. He sent torpedoes, so we're just going forward and forward a little bit, and maybe just stop, period. Just honestly, just, thinking, just stopping is perfectly fine. This is the power of good positioning. I've not been shot at at all, or at least I've not been hit at all this game. I've managed to accumulate 48,000 damage, and it's only going to go up after that. And you can see, just there's no threat at all. No way this Leon can prevent me from torching him to ground at the ground, except uh, either running away or getting too close to him. That's why we can just creep forward a little bit, again, make sure that we don't get too aggressive, and we don't shoot unnecessarily and get ourselves spotted. So this is why we're holding our fire here because we don't not want to get spotted by the Leon. <clears throat> now, you can be cheeky occasionally but sometimes it's not worth it, sometimes it is. Eh, this this is worth it I think. He wasn't really interested in us so we're gonna fire a shot here. It only has, only has enough time to get us like one salvo and by the time he has he fires his salvo doesn't have enough room to get anywhere. And that's why we fired. Oh, that's some shells coming from down, not a problem. But see, he does over here, yes, but he, can he do anything about it? Not really. Unless he pushes us, which means he's going to have to give broadside to whatever is on our side. Our, our team over there. I think it's a cruiser. As you can see. But, um, yeah, we, we're just using island cover here. Yeah, sure, some of the shells don't hit, but some of them do. Uh, one shell hit is better than no shell hits, 100%. So we're just abusing the fact that he's sailing away from the island, meaning we can get connect shots that weren't actually directly aimed for him, they're aimed for the water ahead of him, he's sailing into these shots. All this time we are not actually spotted. Now, we are going to get spotted soon if we're not careful. Yep, there we go. We just a little bit over, uh, we did a little bit too long there. We're just going to dart forward a little bit with a rudder and then go back to a full stop. That wheel bit propulsion does propel your ship a little bit forward. And it's a very useful tip in the land in particular. And mostly just light, uh, American light cruisers are very good at this in general. As you can see, we're pretty comfortable here. Uh, because we know we have that skill, he's not been interested in targeting us. I believe his guns are set the other way. And as a result, this deal is simply helpless to what we are doing to him. There's no way he can retaliate. There's no way he can fight back to that. Insect running away, his positioning already was at fault about 10 minutes ago. Because this should be possible if you're playing correctly. Again, this is Atlanta is incredibly good for boats that are trying to rush you or in the central position. You can get an island like this. Not always is all the case, but this is what I mean by good positioning. You position yourself well, you can just sit there behind an island and farm endlessly. And this is not an easy position to get to. I've actually traversed across the map for taking a single point of damage. Meanwhile, I've dealt 74,000, which is a respect for its own right, and not only that, we have uh, some need of damage. Now, Nelson is targeting us, but if you pay attention to his guns, he's not actually able to shoot us. He actually decides to not go for us. We have that skill. If we didn't have that skill, we wouldn't be here shooting behind, behind the cover if we can. Now, <clears throat> Nelson is doing what he can to try and avoid us right now. Now, Nelson is definitely turning our guns, so we're going to uh, go forward here. 
we're going to go forward here and we're going to get right behind that and make sure that he cannot get any shots on us. So we go dark because we are the ones spotting him and that's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. You're just going to hold back. We're going to fight another day. We're going to ask our team for some, for some intelligence data. Hopefully they can light up the Nelson and we can get some more work done. In the meantime, we just got to hold firm. Oh, there's a Bismarck. Again, positioning. We can shoot over this island comfortably. You can see these shells jump over the water, uh, over the air. Absolutely insane. Yeah, we can get some shots in. He's on the edge of our range though, so we'll be very cautious and try and aim ahead of him and get some shots in. There's no reason not to keep shooting. Uh, we're not going to get spotted by this and, you know, even one rogue shell hit is definitely worth the shot. Definitely. So there we go, we've got four. Even if they shatter, it's not a problem because uh, even a shell that shatters can cause a fire. So it's fine, no, we're not doing much damage at the minute. This is why I run EOP in Atlanta. I prefer the penetration values over the chance of setting fires. Uh, yeah, sure you're going to shatter a couple shells, but uh, the main thing is we get more pen damage. Which, you know, it's tiny to matter, it really goes either way. You can either set more fires or you can get more pen. That's not, nothing to do with the Atlanta, actually. We're just a completely different topic here. As you can see, we're just predicting where he's going. And there's no reason for us to move. We're in an ideal position. We can pester the Nelson, but we can't pester the Nelson. Too big an island. And we can just pester the Bismarck a little bit. <clears throat> and there's no reason for us to stop right now. We can just stay here. We can just pester this guy. And we can keep an eye on that Gabby, though, because he's just on the edge of our firing range, which means he's skirting. Uh, about our detection. So it's probably a good idea to vacate because that Mogami could have us spotted and the Mogami does pr hurt pretty bad so we need to be careful with that. <clears throat> We're still safe to fire. Mogami is not in our firing range. If we, present, if we keep going forward here there's actually another set of islands protecting us from being spotted by the Nelson. Again this is what I mean. Uh, picking your picking your fights, looking at the minimap and just taking a look what can spot you, what cannot spot you. You can see the difference here. This is a massive example of, a really good example of simply picking the right time to fire, right position to be in, and map that is really bad for the Atlanta. This is just, Atlanta kind of relies on islands actually because it doesn't have much range, it doesn't have really any armor, and <clears throat> these are destroyer guns, so you're not gonna kill someone incredibly quickly unless you are a destroyer or you're within like four or five kilometers and you go flat on site. The Atlanta or AP is the dev option. But as you can see, when you have an island, the Atlanta is pretty darn horrendous to fight against. Though, as I said, range is pretty bad, so you just run away. <clears throat> so you can see here the absolute abuse we've taken, we've dealt out to the enemy team here by taking no damage in return. This is the exact well oh, there's the Arsonist Award, the Arsenal Award I like to call it. Uh, this is exactly how uh, these American cruisers are meant to be played. You're not meant to take any damage from these boats, you're simply meant to dish damage out and kill those destroyers. Unfortunately we couldn't kill the destroyer this game, but what's really important is uh, how we abused these islands and used our cover and your stealth to your advantage here. This is very valuable stuff. Again, it's worth re-watching this, maybe not even the sound, just looking at the minimap and you can see that uh, how we use the cover and how we use our line of sight to our advantage. Uh, we are rarely spoiled this entire game as a result of what we've done. So yeah, great example of positioning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please give me a like, please give a subscribe, please leave a comment below or do all of it. All of it helps the YouTube algorithm out and helps me out massively. So thank you very much everyone who gives this video a like and a comment. I'll catch you next time folks. Hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.